hello people welcome back to a tutorial second so today we are going to draw this part for this we are going to use revolve and few other modes so let's start and again working directory so this is you can see in the previous video is uh, this directory is same as the previous one so proceeding further new path solid you can keep it default but i like to choose another different template which is amnesty path solid click on okay so again front view top view and right view so today we are going to draw this part for this um, as i can assume this is the front view so we need to work on front axis this is the front axis now click on sketch and click on click on this button sketch view so let's begin starting with the line which is 95 Next we have 240 minus 65 minus 20. Sorry, 240 minus 65. That will be equal to 175. It's a vertical line. Sorry, one seventy five. Again, zoom out. Next, we are having another line of forty M. Again, zoom out. So, next we are having a line of 65 vertical. And a horizontal line of 30 mm. This is Tratina. So we know this gap. This is twenty, as you can see here. Next thing, what I'm going to do is uh, draw a vertical line. Draw a vertical line at random because I don't know the dimension between these two lines. What uh, these two lines? What will be exact? So for that, I need 20 mm gap between them. So I can give by using this normal command the dimension. This is 20. So I got this. You can draw a line. So again here. So 
so by default it has taken the same 20 so this is 95 minus 20 that is 75 And this is 175 minus 40. That is 135. So now I can delete. Now I can delete this line. I don't need this anymore. So, we are almost ready with the drawing. So, this is our drawing that uh, we have to revolve. Next thing, what we need to do, click on OK and press on Revolve. We need to select the axis along which we need to revolve. So you can see the 3D diagram by pressing the uh, central middle button and moving it. So you can adjust it uh, either manually uh, like this. In whatever angle you want. So for um, just sake for this drawing, I'm taking it 175 to sorry 275. Okay, now click on OK button. So here is our 3D model. We can remove this extra axis. Now we need to round it. Let's begin with this one. So, what's the dimension of it? Uh, radius is 25. Okay. Control here. Radius is 25. Okay. Next, it's 25 and 5 inside. 25. As you can see, see over here. So again, we are having 5 inside. This is 25. Uh, this is 5 similarly here too it is 5 and we are left with one more that is this one and this is 20 so let's click on it
okay for that we'll uh, do it later on so for now click on ok button control d so as you can see over here we have almost completed our part but we are left with this one so we can directly edit on this by click on the sketch and edit definition again this one so here we are having a circle I'm taking the circle at any end at any random point and which is tangent to which is tangent to this one control here So now removing the lines which we do not require, like this one, this one, this one, this one. This one. and uh, we are left with these two controls here now click on ok button and here with control D you can see we are having that curvy line so you can go to render and change its appearance so i can give this yellow give this part yellow color yellow color okay and uh, inside i can give it blue now click on OK. And outside, I can give another color, like green. It's there. This one okay. So now we are done. Now click on save button and click OK. Thank you.